everybody, this is Robin Moses and I'm here with the doctor. What up, Bridges? I've started this tutorial with Dazzle Dry, number 462. A beautiful watermelon red. Now I'm going in with a green color. What I'm going to do is watermelons, traditional watermelons. I haven't got one on a nice um, tape. My last tape when we made the watermelons, uh, doctor. 463 Mead Forest, Mead, Mead Forest Queen is the green I'm using. The last tutorial we made is so old and the quality is so low that it's time to do a new one. Yay. So, okay. It is summer. It is summer. So I'm going in with uh, the green like that. I'm going to do a half watermelon here. So I would go like this. Now um, I'm going to get most of it in like that. Okay, and then um, everything that I need to um, line up with, I'm going to use just my nail art brush inside of the green polish, and I'm going to take it and put it all around the side here and make it all flush. And let me finish that, and I'll meet you back. Okay, now I have on my palette of paint green, light green, black, and white. In the middle, what is that? A printer? Somebody calling me. Oh, goodness. Look at my hand. I should be ashamed of myself. Okay, so anyway, with my uh, liner brush, I'm going in with a medium green, use, mixing the two greens together and making the rind. Okay, and then with the medium green, going in and doing the lines on the watermelon down the side, like the, now they're calling me. Oh, okay, so we're going to go for time two. <laughs> All right, so there's a cut there. So I'm going to go around with the dark green around here and cover up. This is just paint I'm using because it's in the cuticle area and I can use top coat, so it'll be perfect. Now I'm going to go in on the side like so and do the little stripes sideways like that. and finish the stripe out like that. Now, with the lighter green, gonna go just a little bit thinner. Make sure that your paint is nice and thin and go right up against the edge of the green. You see how my paint's a little bit too thin right there? So that's gonna dry. Burp, burp, burp. That's gonna dry. And then we will, I mean, it's almost dry now. And then I just go over it again with the second coat and it'll be nice and bright. Like that. And then, in the centers of the little stripes, I'm going to do little tiny lighter stripes like that and highlight it with the green. Right. So now, with the black, I'm going to go in and do little tiny seeds. how you would do them is you push and then pull up. Push and pull up. And it will give a seed shape. Isn't that cute, doctor? It is so adorable. So these will go away from you like this. And that's how we're going to finish it out. Okay, so now with the red glitter, I'm going in like this. Going. And you can take you can take like the Anaz Crimson Glam and mix it with clear. Um, I have a Franken polished one right here, so I couldn't I can't really tell you. But any red glitter mixed with um, clear nail polish will work. And go around those seeds. If you go if you do this if you do glitter first and then put the seeds, sometimes the seeds don't look as pretty. So that's why I do the seeds first. But if you find that you can just paint this all glittery and then put the seeds and you don't mind it, then that would be awesome. Both, the, both ways work. There's that. Now I'm going to have some, um, uh, what would you call this color of green? Pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so this gorgeous color green, I have uh, two different kinds, but this, you know, that color green. I'm going to um, be go. be a forest green, but it might be. It might, it's kind of like a lime, would you say? Yeah. Uh, but but it's to say lime on watermelon kind of confuses me. You put the me. lime on the watermelon. <laughs> you put the lime in the coconut 
There we go. So we're going to put that on there. Oh my gosh, bling ding ding. Isn't that cute? Yes, I love it. Oh, that is cute. Okay, so I'm going to top coat and I'll meet you back. Okay, so here is the end result, and you just move on over, Juicy. Look at these. these juice delicious. Juicy. These are ju Woo! juice delicious. Anyways, okay, so I am so happy that I got to do a new watermelon tutorial. My first one was real grainy and awful film and awful cameras and awful everything. This is a little bit better at least. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so please spread the word. Share these. Try them with your friends. Try them on somebody and have a good time. Um, I will be back with more. Everybody have a great night and for my regular viewers, I love you guys. Bye. Bye, britches. Good night, britches.